Welcome back guys and today we have a special review um, from the title you can see from the box you probably know. This is the Olive Travis Scott and we'll start off with the box. You get this nice creamed out box with this matte finish. It's not a gloss, it's matte. <clears throat> and then in my, not my size, but in a size 13 women's. I hit this off sneakers. Uh, actually, my dad hit it, so I was super hyped. Um, I'm grateful that I got this, you know, last one for myself. Um, we'll start off with the paper. This nice paper, really premium. Take out one shoe. 360 view. It's a really nice shoe. Materials on this are A1, and I always say that they're A1, uh, but certain, certain shoes, I really mean it. This is one of those shoes that I do really mean it. These are A1 um, premium materials. And just for references, if you're legit checking out of these, um, this is my box, size 13. YDM sticker should have some ridges on there. And then just for reference, so you can see, that's that should be the font and whatnot. Give you a little more tips because I know these are going to be heavily faked and heavily wanted. So just keep yourself safe. I mean, no problem with fakes. But if you're looking for the real thing, you want the real thing, right? So we'll start off with this. So we'll start off with the, the white parts of the shoe. So my fingernails are all dirty. Kind of orange. So we'll start off with the white part of the shoe. All these are gonna be this nice premium leather as you can see by the touch of the leather. Look at that, look at that. You can see the grains, the leather on the back. Yeah. You can see the grains, really nice. Uh, so all that white is gonna be that premium leather. It's really soft to the touch. It's not like your um, other kinds of leather. It's not like any other leather you see. It's really smooth. I wish you guys can feel it, but it's really smooth and really nice for the price point. Definitely worth it. Um, going on to the the black parts. This is a nice. Uh, I said uh, I meant new bucks. You can see the color change. Really soft to the touch. It's better than the phantoms. I have those. I'll let you see them um, in a future video. Um, come into this nice olive backward swoops, which is also new book. So all the black is new book and all the um, olive on the sh top of the shoe is new book, which is really nice. Come in with the laces, you get this white cream lace. And it comes with three other laces. It has a red lace, so that's wax. It has a black lace, that's wax. and has an olive lace, that's wax. Nice premium hit. Three laces is what I like. Mesh shock liner that you see on other Jordans like the Travis Scott's uh, fragments. You get this olive cactus jack finish on the side on both the right and left, as you can see. Usually it's done in, the, in a red fashion, but not this time. You get that red Nike Air tag, which I really like. It really makes it pop. Going to the sides, you can see that it has a Cactus Jack logo on that side. Going to the back of the shoe, there's Cactus Jack on the left shoe and then Air Jordan on the right. You can see how premium the materials are by looking at it and the grains. I hope hopefully you can see it. But we'll go to the bottom. Just olive toned finish. Really nice. Really nice. You get cardboard insoles, and this is what I'm talking about. Really helps your shoe stay perfect as far as creases. And then inside the shoe, you get one insole that is different from all the rest. It's kind of like a race car vibe that many people are saying, which I could see that if you look at cars, I just watched that yesterday, you could definitely 
can tell this is kind of, I'm assuming, resembled. You can see. Sorry guys, my dog. Pretty dope. Uh, and just for legit checking purposes, um, usually the insole stitching isn't like this, but this one's pretty close together. Um, other hints are gonna be this. You can see how it's spaced, and spaced out and how nice it is. Um, but I just, you know, legit check it, go through a legit checking app, take it to a trusted um, store and whatnot, buy through, you know, trusted buyers. Now on to the sizing of this shoe. Um, so this is a 13 women's, comes in women's, women's sizing. So all you have to do is to convert it is one and a half down. So 13 women's is gonna be 11 5 men's um, and I would go true to size this is not my regular size um, I am usually a 10 and a half to 11 in these um, but I chose this size because I am in a cook group and um, size 13 was had over I believe 10,000 stock so I had a better chance of getting it um, which is fine but I would go true to size I'm trying to size swap these so if anyone wants to size swap I got this pair, I wanna get a 10.5 or a 11 men's. Um, but overall, I just go to true to size on this pair. Um, and what do I think on the resale market? This shoe is, as you can see, is going down. Um, this size particular is $800 on StockX before um, taxes and fees. After that, it's like 920 around there. Um, what I think is people are just wanting to sell it. They see that, you know, people are buying it, so they're selling it for low. After, you know, everyone kind of subsides, these are gonna go back up. And as you can tell from the last previous drop, they dropped a little lower. They were like at 500s, I believe 400s in certain sizes. So these are around there, but the bigger size are obviously gonna hold the more money. Um, so these, I see these going back up to like 900 to 1,000 in bigger sizes once everyone stops buying them and once everyone realizes this is really the last shoe. And as well as a quick hint is I would buy the Phantoms because once these are going up and the Fragments and the Mochas and the other Mochas, the only reasonable price one are going to be the Phantoms. Even if you don't like them, they're going to be the most reasonable so I would buy them. That way you could, you know, have trade bait or have, you know, that investment aside. Um, trust me on that. In a couple months, couple years, those are going to go up just like the Phantoms or just like the, uh, the Fragments and the Mochas. Obviously, not to the extent that the Mochas and the Fragments are going to be at that point, but they'll be similar. Um, so definitely, uh, just a quick tip of what I think. Definitely um, not, you know any financial advice or anything like that but that's what i did i got mo i got phantoms i'm trying to stock up on two pairs because those are the only reasonable price ones other than that this is a really nice shoe i'm so glad i hit retail funny story my dad actually hit for me i don't know if i don't i think i said it but he actually hit for me which i'm really glad i'll pull up the the picture onto the thing and i appreciate you guys for watching let me know if this is a copper drop for yourself really nice shoe. Thank you guys for watching.